the widow of George Harrison, has hailed a blue plaque at the Beatles star's Liverpool birthplace as a source of family pride. The guitarist's wife Olivia and the culture minister, Lord Parkinson, will reveal the accolade on Friday at 12 Arnold Grove in Wavertree. The ceremony took place in 1978. Born on February 25, 1943, and living there until he was nearly seven years old, Harrison passed away in November 2001 at the age of 58 after a fight with cancer. The property was a two-up, two-down Victorian terrace. This blue plaque recognition of George's birthplace is a source of family pride for all the Harrisons, and something that none of us, mainly George, would ever have anticipated, noted Olivia, an American film producer and author. He made his mark on every continent, every nation, every city, and every street. Their sole child, composer and musician Donny Harrison, was born to her in 1978. Harrison, the quiet Beatle, was the fourth child of four and really embraced his passion for music, picking up a guitar when he was about 12 years old. The Wavertree neighborhood was his family's birthplace, and his mother's side of the family lived on Albert Grove, the road next door. They were at the top of the council housing list when they left the region in 1950. For many years, local residents and fans have longed for a blue plaque marking the place where George Harrison's exceptional life story began, stated Duncan Wilson, chief executive of Historic England, which oversees the program on behalf of the Department for Culture, Media and Sport, DCMS. Though his songwriting was overshadowed by John Lennon and Sir Paul McCartney, Harrison contributed with Here Comes the Sun, While My Guitar Gently Weeps and Something. In 1960, at the age of 17, he went to Hamburg as the youngest member of the Beatles. Following this, from 1965 to 1968, he sought out the instruction of Indian composer Ravi Shankar to master the sitar, a stringed instrument with a long neck and a resonating chamber made of a bulbous gourd. He was deeply moved by Eastern philosophy and music after the Beatles' 1966 tour of India. He also contributed to the band's songs Only a Northern Song and Within You Without You, 